Greetings, Pokey fans! Michael here, and something that most Pokemon players have done at some point or another is beat an entire Pokemon game using just their starter. This is something more commonly done by younger players, at least in my personal experience. The first two Pokemon games that I ever played as a kid, Ruby and Leaf Green, I beat pretty much only using my starters, Sceptile and Blastoise respectively. However, I did not actually solo those games with my starters because I caught other Pokemon and I used them for various purposes in the game, but primarily for HMs in order to clear obstacles to progress in the game. That means that those solo runs weren't technically complete solo runs. Another place you've probably seen these pseudo solo runs are playthrough challenges here on YouTube. One of the most common formats is, can you beat this particular game using only this particular Pokemon? In the vast majority of situations, you can't. There are very few Pokemon out there that can learn all of the necessary HMs to make it through a pre-Gen 7 Pokemon game. The creators of these playthrough challenges get around this limitation by adding in a clause in the rules that says they can use other Pokemon for HMs, just not in battle. I've done that myself with one of my playthrough challenges. After seeing several playthrough challenge videos include that rule, I started to get curious about which solo runs would be possible without that rule. Which Pokemon could you truly solo a Pokemon game with, HMs and all? I was specifically curious about starter Pokemon because with them, you can attempt a true solo run of a Pokemon game without having to do any sort of hacking or trading. You could attempt one by yourself on any legit cartridge right now. So I did the research and I compiled a list of every single starter Pokemon that you could truly solo their Pokemon game with because they learn all of the necessary HMs. This list will obviously stop at the end of Gen 6 because from Gen 7 onward, there are no HMs, so you could wholly solo any Gen 7 or Gen 8 game with any starter. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, tap that bell for notifications, you know the drill, and let's get started with Generation 1, Red, Blue, and Yellow. The HMs necessary to complete these games are Cut to access Lieutenant Surge's and Erica's gyms, plus to go east from Cerulean toward Rock Tunnel, Surf to get to Cinnabar in the Pokemon League, and Strength to get through the Victory Road. So how much can the Gen 1 starters do here? Well, if you're playing Yellow, your Pikachu can only learn Flash, so you're not getting very far with it alone. It can learn Surf via a Pokemon Stadium Move Tutor, but I'm pretty sure that requires you to have a full squad alongside the Pikachu to use in the game. Plus, that still doesn't deal with Cut or Strength. As for Red and Blue, Venusaur can only learn Cut. Charizard can learn both Cut and Strength, plus Fly in Yellow, but it cannot learn Surf. Blastoise can learn Surf and Strength, but not Cut. So despite being the only one with Surf, it can progress the least of the three. Unfortunately, that means it is not possible to completely solo a Generation 1 Pokemon game with just your starter, which I honestly think is dumb. Lickitung learns Cut and it's got one tiny little nubbin of a claw on each hand. Blastoise has three sizable claws on each hand. How does Lickitung learn cut and Blastoise does not? Now on to generation two, the games being gold, silver, and crystal. The HMs necessary to beat these games are cut to get through Ilex Forest, surf to reach sea and wood and mahogany, strength to get through the ice path, whirlpool to reach the Whirl Islands if you're playing silver, and Waterfall to scale Tojo Falls. As you likely suspected, since three of the necessary HMs are water moves, Meganium and Typhlosion are out. Both of them can only learn Cut and Strength. But what about Feraligator? I feel good about this one since it seems like it should be able to learn all of the HMs I mentioned. Well, in Generation 2, Feraligator can learn Cut, Surf, Strength, Whirlpool, and that's it. Wait. That's it? For some unknown and unjustifiable reason, Feraligator cannot learn Waterfall in Gen 2. They fixed that in the immediately following generation, Gen 3, it can learn Waterfall then, but in the original Johto games, Feraligator simply cannot be taught Waterfall. 
That means that none of the three Johto starters can be used to completely solo a Gen 2 game. For Alligator can get you far, it can get you eight badges, but you can't complete the game since it can't get you through Tojo Falls. Next is Generation 3, starting with the Hoenn games, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. The HMs necessary to complete these games are Rock Smash to progress north of Mauville, Strength to get through the Victory Road, Surf because it's Hoenn, you obviously need Surf, Dive to reach the Seafloor Cavern, and Waterfall to reach the Victory Road. Unsurprisingly, the requirement for Water HMs immediately eliminates the non-Water starters. Both Sceptile and Blaziken can learn the necessary Rock Smash and Strength, but neither can learn any of the three Water HMs. As for Swampert, it can actually learn the exact five necessary HMs to complete a Hoenn playthrough, meaning that for the first time in Pokemon history, we have a starter that can truly solo a game. Well, actually, just because a Pokemon can learn all of the necessary HMs, that doesn't mean that it's for sure possible to beat the game with just that Pokemon. If there's some kind of conflict where you need to get rid of one of the moves, but you don't have access to the move deleter yet, then it's not possible. However, thankfully in Hoenn, that's not an issue. After finishing all of the necessary tasks in Sutopolis, specifically getting the badge, your Swampert would know at least Surf and Dive, but likely Rock Smash and Strength as well if you've not deleted them. Then you simply dive out of Sutopolis, surf back to Lily Cove, delete dive at the move deleter, then teach it Waterfall. Surf, Waterfall, Rock Smash, and Strength are the only four necessary HMs to get through the victory road. And then once you're at the Pokemon League, you can actually replace the unwanted HMs. Alpha Rat accomplished this in his Mudkip only challenge by going back through the victory road, surfing to Lily Cove, deleting the HMs that he didn't want, then intentionally losing a battle, causing him to white out back to the Pokemon League, which I thought was brilliant. That video is my favorite solo run playthrough challenge out there because I thought it was super cool that he used the Mudkip for everything, not just the battles. It's actually the video that inspired this one because I thought that was so interesting, I wanted to see if it was possible with other starters in other generations. But in the end, the Swampert line is the first starter line that you could use to completely solo a Pokemon game in main series Pokemon history. I love Sceptile a lot, but damn, I must say I respect Swampert. Next is Fire Red and Leaf Green, and the situation with these games is very similar to the Gen 1 games. Really, the only change is that you now need Rock Smash and Waterfall in the Sebi Island. Venusaur now learns Strength, Rock Smash, and Cut, plus Flash, but it still lacks the necessary water moves. In addition to Fly, Charizard also gets Cut, Strength, and Rock Smash, but it too lacks the water moves. And then just like in Gen 1, Blastoise covers all of the necessary HMs but one, Cut. So just like with Gen 1, it's impossible to solo Fire Red and Leaf Green with any particular starter which is so dumb, Blastoise should learn Cut. Now on to Generation 4, starting with the Sinnoh games, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. The HMs necessary to beat these games are Rock Smash to reach Floroma, Cut to reach the Eterna Galactic Building, Surf to reach Canalave, Strength to get through Mount Coronet, Rock Climb to reach Lake Acuity and get to Spear Pillar, and Waterfall to reach the Pokemon League. Torterra and Infernape can both learn Cut, Strength, Rock Smash, and Rock Climb. All the necessary HMs, except the water ones. That leaves Empoleon, who can not only learn those four moves, but also all of the water HMs, including Whirlpool and HeartGold and Soul Silver and Defog. Empoleon can learn every single HM in the Sinnoh games, except the unnecessary Fly. So it's gotta be possible to solo a Sinnoh game with an Empoleon, right? <laughs> Wrong. You could get very far with an Empoleon, in fact, all the way to the Victory Road. However, the Sinnoh Victory Road is an insurmountable wall, because to get all the way through it, you need five HMs. Rock Smash, Strength, Surf, Waterfall, and Rock Climb. So while Empoleon can learn all of those moves, it can't know all five at the same time, since a Pokemon can only know four moves at once. And since you can't delete HM moves in the field, so you can't swap one for the other part of the way through, 
It is simply impossible to get through the Sinnoh Victory Road with just Empoleon. In fact, because of this five move requirement, it is impossible to get through the Sinnoh Victory Road with just one Pokemon of any species. This disgustingly high HM requirement makes it so it is impossible to completely solo a Sinnoh game with any Pokemon out there. Next up is Heart Gold and Soul Silver, which like the original Johto games, require Cut, Surf, Strength, Whirlpool and Soul Silver, and Waterfall. However, they also now require Rock Climb, but not until you're scaling Mount Silver to fight Red. Meganium and Typhlosion learn the exact same HMs. Cut and Strength, like before, the unnecessary Rock Smash, since it's now an HM, and Rock Climb. That means like all Grass and Fire starters so far, they lack the necessary Water HMs to make it through the game. But as for Feraligator, Gen 2's mistake has now been remedied. Feraligator learns all the HMs it could in Gen 2, but now it's finally been given Waterfall, a move it should have had the whole time. As the cherry on top, Feraligator also gets Rock Climb, meaning it learns all of the necessary HMs, in fact, every HM except Fly. But as we saw with Empoleon, just because a Pokemon can learn all of the necessary moves doesn't mean it's possible to beat the game with just that one Pokemon. However, I looked into it, and thankfully in this situation, it is. To reach the move deleter, only Cut, Surf, and Strength are required. If you're playing Soul Silver, you can teach it Whirlpool to reach Lugia, then delete it for Waterfall right after. And if it's Heart Gold, you just teach it Waterfall right away. Then you can traverse through all of Kanto with just Cut, Surf, Strength, and Waterfall until receiving Rock Climb, at which point you can traverse back to the Blackthorn move deleter, delete Cut, teach it Rock Climb, and head to Mount Silver to fight Red. Congratulations for Alligator, you get to join Swampert in the Can Solo A Game Club. You should have been there in Gen 2, but at least you got there eventually. Now on to Generation 5, starting with Black and White. And the HMs necessary to complete these games are Cut, and that's it? Wait, that's it? Of all the HMs, only a single use of Cut is required at the Dream Yard for completing Pokemon Black and White. That is insane, I had no idea. Holy crap, that means you might be able to solo these games with a non-water starter. First, let's look at Superior, which can learn strength and the necessary cut, which means it is the first non-water starter that you can solo a game with. Next is Embor, which only learns strength, so it's not possible with it. Man, Embor, this is the easiest pre-Gen 7 game to solo out there, and you still can't do it, come on! Then finally is Samurott, which can learn every HM except Fly, so it absolutely could be used by itself. So black and white making HMs almost not mandatory means that they are the first games out there that you could solo with more than one starter, and I respect them for that. However, that trend did not continue into black 2 and white 2 because to beat those games, you need Surf and Strength, which means it's down to just Samurott for the starter that could solo those. Now on to Generation 6, starting with X and Y, and the only HMs required to beat these games are Surf and Waterfall. And you can guess where this is going. Chestnut only learns Cut and Strength, while Delphox only learns Cut, and none of those HMs are even necessary. The one starter to learn both Surf and Waterfall is obviously the Water Starter Greninja, which can learn both those moves plus cut and strength. So Greninja gets added to the list of starters that you could solo their game with. Also, before you move on to the next game, I think it's worth mentioning that you are required to be given a Kanto starter in X and Y, so you could do it with that Squirtle as well, but like is the case with any solo run throughout all these games, any gift Pokemon, it's kind of assumed you would just box them immediately. Then finally is Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, the last mainline Pokemon games to require HMs. The situation for these games is identical to the original Hoenn games. They need Rock Smash, Strength, Surf, Dive, and Waterfall, and the only one to get all five is Swampert. And then came Gen 7, which seemingly permanently got rid of HMs. In the Alola games, you use Ride Pokemon, in Let's Go, you use Secret Techniques, and in Sword and Shield, you just get a bike upgrade or two. So therefore, in these games, you can solo them with any starter. 
So to recap, the starters that you could truly solo a game with, HMs and everything, are Swampert in all the Hoenn games, Feraligator in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, Superior in Black and White, Samurott in all four Unova games, Greninja in X and Y, and all starters from Gen 7 onward. Thank you so much for watching and an extra special thanks to my patrons over on Patreon who are helping support me during the worst time for YouTube ad rates that I have ever seen. If you wanna help support me in the same way, the link is in the description below. If you wanna check out some more of my fun Pokemon content, I recommend these videos here. All right, that's all I have for now. So till next time, big fans. Gotta catch them all.